Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check, one, two, three. Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to the Lambkin Sports Network. Having a little bit of audio difficulty or technical difficulty. Can't get the graphic to show on the bottom of the screen for the score, so we'll do it verbally for the first half and then change it for the second half. So. Just one minute into the ball game, no score. Looked like Jamar Mitchell just picked up a foul, his first, team first. Not sure what the delay is. See if we get a good camera angle here. First round of the Chassis playoffs. Three point shot on the way is going to be good for the Timber Stars. That could go the other way. It's almost still. The black set for three is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Denver South. They're heading the other way. Four Collins playing the man-to-man, -man, trying to trap. Nothing there. Jamar's got them off at the baseline. Three-point shot on the way is going to be good. Six-nothing, Denver East. Cottingham gets it on the wax step, but he's fouled. The lob in the Wagstaff. Tries to drive. Hangs. Shot up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Powers up. No good. Rebound Jamar Mitchell. Two points Jamar Mitchell. Denver East goes the other way real quick. Cameraman's out of position. That would be me. Sorry. Ball out of bounds. is going to stay this way. Stay with Denver South. 5.38 left. Score 6-2. Denver South. Sideline out of bounds. Swings it. Three-point shot real quick on the way. It's going to be good. Number 10 is Tyler Huntsinger. He's a shooter. I'm guessing Mr. Huntsinger is their best player. Or their scorer anyway. Get the second three of the first half. 9-2 with 5.27 left in the first quarter. It's got a timeout on the floor. Not sure why the graphic won't work, but we'll try to fix that. Kind of frustrating. Let's see. So on the strength of three three-point shots, Denver South has his nine-point or seven-point lead. Nine to two, five twenty-seven left in the quarter. First quarter, of course. King brings the ball up. Denver East playing a man, or Denver South playing a man to man zone. Man to man defense on his own. Gets it in the wax out of the right. Tries to drive. 
may have traveled, but gets it to Jamar for two points. Two points, Jamar Mitchell, nine forward to score. Denver South. The drive, the shot, no good. It's going to be short, out of bounds. It'll be Lampkin ball. Full court pressure by Denver South. Inbound the King. They need to get, they're going to try to trap. They break it pretty easily. They got numbers. Quickly up the corner. The shot. Bang. It's two point the corner. 9 6, 445 left in the first quarter. Keep an eye on that guy, number 10. He can play. Stolen by King. One on two. Takes it anyway. He walked. They're going to call a foul. He got bumped. Looked like he could take an extra step, but he's got the benefit of the doubt. Of course he got fouled. He wouldn't have walked on his own. He got helped. Wag Seth and down to Jamar. He's going to try to take the turn around. Nice move. Shot hangs. Two points Jamar Mitchell. 9-8 the score. Denver to South. One second with the quick three is good. This guy can flat out shoot the ball. That's his third three-point shot. 12-8 is going to be your score, Denver South. So Huntsinger comes out smoking. Tomorrow with the drive, takes it all the way in. Two points tomorrow, Mitchell. That's his eighth point. Denver South does not waste any time to get it up. To get it up the floor pretty quick. The trap is there. Gets out of it. Gets it over. Corner three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar. Andrew's going to take it to the middle of the teeth of this defense. Chase for three. Good. Two point shot, Chase. King. This week, stroke is back. 13 12. Lampkins take the first lead of the ball game. Or their first lead. Trapped. Got to charge. Either an illegal screen or a charge. They call charge. I'm not sure who was on. Let's see. Hold on, number 21. Jonathan Treese. Cunningham has the ball. He's taking. Gets it to Wagstaff. Wide open from three point land. Not good. Rebound's going to go to Denver East. Almost uh, Denver South. Almost stolen, did not. The Ravens quickly get it up into the corner. Hutzinger can handle it and loses the ball. It's going to be. Fort Collins ball. Oh, they're going to say it's off of us. They're going to say it was off the Fort Collins and it's going to be Denver East ball. I keep saying Denver East, I'm sorry. Denver South. Coach Dix is going to lose his mind over there. Terrible call. The quick handoff. Cut off. The drive. Hang, shot, air ball, rebound in the corner, he's coming out. Quickly up to Cottingham. Tough catch, caught it, trapped, gets it to King. A lot of pressure in the corners. Down to Jamar. Pump fake, up and in, two points to Jamar Mitchell. 15 12, 2 30 left in the first quarter, 2 30 left in the first quarter, four counts, 15. Denver South 12. Fast-paced game. Both teams are pushing it, trying to trap. Three-point shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound is going to go to. Oh, it's going to be out of bounds. Couple subs in for Denver South. Having a hard time with numbers. Their numbers blend in with their uniforms a little bit from my angle. I'll call the names as soon as I can catch them. The trap. It breaks the trap. King's going to bring it up over the corner. Down to Cunningham. Three-point shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Cunningham. Gets his own board. Drives. Bang. Slam. Bam. Jam. Joe Cunningham. The athleticism. The hang time. The flush. Cunningham can flat out get up in the air. And we got a legal screen and a foul. Cottingham's hurt. 
Nicky McGuire is going to check into the ball game. Cunningham has something wrong with his shoulder. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Hopefully he just needs a break. Hopefully he didn't do too much to it. But anyway, we'll keep an eye on it. King brings it up against some pressure. Over to Nicky. He's looking to Jamar. Jamar's trying to probe some. I think he finds King. Down to Wagstaff. He's going to get it over to King. That's the spot. The three points, Jace King. 20 to 12. 118 until the end of the quarter. 118 left. Lampkins 20. Denver South 12. Wagstaff got hammered in there. He went for the bait, went for the rebound and got undercut. Falls on number 23, Ty Daniels. Full court pressure. It's in the king. They're just going to clear it and let him do his thing. Jace brings it up. Kicks it to the corner for Luke. Joins the paratrooper club. Tried to pass it off Denver South, and it will be Fort Collins ball. 57 seconds left in the quarter. 57 seconds left in the first. Corner's going to take it out. Trying to look for Wagstaff. Nothing there. Gets it into Jamar. Swings it to Jace. Long three-point shot on the way. is going to be good. Jace King is hot. 45 seconds left in the first quarter. 23-12, Lampkins. He walked, but he got away with it. Off his foot, it's going to be Lampkin ball. Good defense by the Lampkins. 36 seconds left in the quarter. 36. Lampkins up 23-12. to 12. Inbound the corner. He's going to take it himself because he's got a lane. Stops. Gets trapped. Gets the wax staff over to King. Nikki's wide open in the corner, decides against shooting it. Over to Wagstaff. They're going to hold for last shot. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. 20 seconds. Last shot. Working the ball around. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Jamar wide open in the corner. Three point shot on the way is no good. Rebound's going to go to nobody at the end of the quarter. So at the end of one, it is your four Collins Lampkins, 23. Denver South, 12. So checking the first quarter stats. We'll try to fix the graphic at halftime, I guess. I can mess around with it, but it's going to be tough. Um... First quarter stats, Jamar Mitchell leads the team with 10 points, followed by Jace King with 9. Andrew has 2 points, and Joe Cottingham has 2. Leading scorer, Luke Wagstaff, has 0, so that's good for the Lampkins. If he gets, gets going, then that's good for the Lampkins overall. So fast paced first half, first quarter. Lampkins 23, Denver South 12. And we'll see if Cottingham can come back into the game. It looks like he's back on the court. That's good. Not sure what his injury was, but it was short term. It's going to be Denver South ball. Start of the second quarter. So Denver South started uh, hot and then they cooled off pretty quick. See what happens in the second quarter. The handoff. There's their shooter. It's a dribble drive. The three-point shot is on the way. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. Going the other way in a hurry. It's corner. Gets it to Jamara for two points.
Quickly down the other way. 25-12. 25-12. Lampkins. We're getting the ball around. Baseline drive. Huntinger tries his pass, but he gets stuck. Stolen by Wagstaff. Jamar goes the other way. Quickly up to Chase King. Gets it to Andrew. Runs into trouble. Dribbles the ball off his foot. It's going to be Denver South ball. Point guard for Denver South is Dominic Rhodes Martinez. He has the ball. Gets it to Daniels, 23. Hand off to Martinez. Gets it over to number five. He takes it away with a walk, but he missed a shot. Jamar with the rebound. Over to Jace. He's going up quickly. Gets it to Andrew. Loves the wax half. He's going to be fouled. 6.45 left in the quarter. 6.45 left until halftime. Lampkins 25. Denver South 12. Fifth team foul for the, for the uh, Ravens. Fouls on Quinn Kelsey. Lampkins take the ball out. Lobs it into Cottingham. He's wide open. Misses a shot. Rebound's going to go to South. And they're going the other way. Working the ball around. Trapped. Kind of dribbles out of it. Tries to do the high load to Martinez. Nothing there. He's stuck. Cottingham has him pretty good. But he got a shot off anyway. Good shot. And we got a foul. Foul on number five, Andrew Corner. His first, team second. Going to the line for two shots is going to be number 23, Kai Daniels. 6.23 left until halftime. Lampkins 25, Ravens 12. Miss. Not a huge crowd here tonight, but they're super loud. Student section is way into this, which is really good to see. Second free throw attempt is up. Oh, he's taking his time. Shot on the way is going to be no good as well. Missed both. Score remains the same. 25-12, Lampkins. Wagstaff gets it. He got bumped, but no foul. Turnover. Here come the Ravens. Hudson with the drive will drive the shot. No good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar. Gets it to Cottingham. He's going to bring it up. Had Jace for a second. Gets it to King. King tries. 15 foot shot on the way is going to be good. Jace came again. Jace had a hard time the last season game against, the last regular season game against Rocky Mountain. He's found a stroke tonight. Fast inside is going to be a foul. Coach Dick can't believe it. There wasn't much there. Let's see what they call it on. We can call that on Wagstaff, I believe. If that's going to be Luke's first, team third. 5.45 left until halftime. Lampkins 27, Denver South 12. Denver's starting to set some screens. The hit dribble drive handoff cut off. It's going to be the trap, but he gets out of it. Drives his hands off. Blocked. Oh, they're going to call a foul. It's either on Joe or... Wagstaff, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. Call on Wagstaff, he picked up his second foul, so he's got to sit. 5.38 left in the half. Who picks up two fouls in about 10 seconds. Kai Daniels goes to the line for two shots. Kate Nelmer is not gone off the bench. Here he comes. First free throw attempt is good. Here comes Caden. Caden Nelmer, 6'5", junior. Checks it for Wagstaff. Don't need Luke in foul trouble. Or doesn't need to pick up his third before halftime, so he may sit for a while, depending on the score. Second free throw attempt on the way is going to be good as well. So, Denver South has 14. 27 14 Lampkins. King brings the ball up over the corner. Cunningham swings it to King, takes a shot, no good. Rebound's going to go to. Jamar Mitchell gets it to King. He's going to drive. He got fouled. Well, it's going to be on number one, Rhodes, Rhodes Martinez. 5.23 left until halftime. 
Slide out of bounds. Sixteen foul for the Ravens, so the next team foul will put the line Lamb gets hit line for a one and one. Got Jamar down low, isolated. He's gonna take his man one on one. May got away with the walk. No, he didn't get away with the walk because they traveled it. They called it. Turnover by the Lampkins is going to give Denver East the ball. Denver South, I mean. Here come the Ravens. Up. The dribble drive into it. The great defense. Jump ball. Or Jace, I'm sorry. Jace King with the great defense. They call it jump ball. It should be Fort Collins ball. And it is. Ravens got the ball at the quarter. Full court press again. Ravens haven't gotten out of it yet. Gets in the Cottingham. They're going to clear it. Andrew looks down low to Cottingham. Sneaks his way in. Gets it to Jamar. Mishandled it. Caden's too far out. Done to Jamar. Face up. Spins. Great move. Can't get it to fall. So here comes the Ravens. Working the ball around. Trying to find something down low. Nothing there. Looking for the cutter. Not there. Lincoln's playing some great team defense. Handing off their guys. Pulling the screens. Handling the cuts. Now we got a trap. Bounces it off the corner, and it's going to be Ravens' ball. Good trap there by the Lampkins, but they get out of it by bouncing it off one of our player, one of the Lampkins players, and it'll be Denver South ball inbounds it. Entry pass. Looking for the cut. Not there. Face up. It's going to be 18 foot shot by Daniels. It's going to be good. Hi, right, Daniels with two more points. Twenty seven sixteen with 3.50 left in the hotel halftime. Tomorrow works it. Thought about shooting. Doesn't. Gets it to King. I want to pop it out. Gets it down the corner. Looking for Mitchell, not there. Cottingham, hands off, over to King. He's going to shoot the ball from 23 feet. No good, rebound's going to go to Jamar. And Lincoln should just reset. Get it down to Andrew, he's posted up his man. Or no, that's Caden, I'm sorry. Jason's taking his man one-on-one, but almost stolen. Cottingham with the dribble drive, hangs. No good, rebound's going to go to Denver South. Stolen by King, out of bounds, it's going to stay... Right here with the Lampkins. Three oh seven till halftime. Three oh seven. Lampkins ball. They better guard Jace. He's wide open. How they find him? Caden cuts. Gets it in Jamar. Turnaround shot from fifteen feet. It's gonna be no good. Rebound's gonna go to the Ravens. And here they come. The drive, the shot, the foul, the basket. Two points. By Daniels. Two points and he'll go to the line for a potential three point shot. Foul on Caden Elmore, his first, team fifth. Wags have checks back in for him with 2.57 until halftime. Lampkins up 27 to 18. Ravens on a 6 0 run. Free throw shot on the way in. No good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar Mitchell. Tried to do some pressure by corner. Gets out of it pretty quickly. Quickly over to King in the corner. Wide open for three. Three-point shot. Jace King. The score three-pointer of the first half. Daniels hands off. Trapped. Almost stolen. 
Recovered. Wax up doesn't want to pick up a foul, and he does. Oh, they called the travel. You got to look at that one. I thought they were going to call him for body, but he didn't. He got away with it. So turnover by the Ravens. It's going to be Lampton ball. 2.34 left in the first half. 2.34, Lampkins 30. Denver South, 18. Andrew loose with the ball, almost gets it taken away, gets it to the wax out. Sells the ball. King's just gonna set up offense, gets it over to Cottingham. He takes the dribble drive, hangs, shot away, two points to Cottingham. 32 18 Lampkins. Ravens working the ball around, the dribble drive, you gotta step on him, it's gonna be fouled. It'll be Jamar's second foul. Number 25, Alex Treese is going to the line for two shots. First free throw attempt is on the way. It's going to be good. 2.04 until half. Length is 32. Ravens 19. Let's see if they set Jamar for with his two fouls. They can let him ride. Second free throw attempt is good. Jamar's going to stay in the game for right now. My guess is they're going to sub him out for defense here next time down the floor. If they can. Gets it over to Cottingham. Loses to Jamar. He's a long ways from the basket. Lampkins don't need to be in any hurry. King over to Mitchell. On the wax step. He's got to give him one one. Great spin move. Nothing. Puts on foul. As a if I could talk. The shot doesn't go, but he's fouled. So that'll be number 55, Chase Ford's second foul. And Luke Wax have a good line for two shots. First attempt on the way is good. Gabe Nelmer is going to check in for Jamar. So it's 142 until halftime. It's Lampkins 33, Ravens 20. Looks like second shot is around and in. Give us up. Nicky McGuire checking in for Luke Wagstaff. So they're checking a 5'9 guy in for a 6'9 guy. Let's see who he's going to guard. I'm just messing around. He's going to guard the guard. A little bit of pressure by the Lampkins. They're going to try to run that post up. Handoff isn't there. The screen. Foul on the floor. It's going to be a hold on. I believe it's going to be on Andrew Corner. No, it's going to be on Caden Elmore. So that's going to be Caden's second foul. So all the bigs have three fouls for the, or two fouls for the Lampkins. And Denver South is in one and one bonus with 127 until halftime. Lampkins got their small quick lineup in. First free throw with the 1-1 is on the way. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Cottingham. Over to Nicky. He's going to bring it up. This is the king to drive. Hangs from 15 feet. Shot is on the way. No good. Rebound's going to go to Caden. Gets it back to Jace. He hangs. Shot up on the way. No good. Breakaway. Denver East missed three layups. Lorraine can control the ball. Nikki wide open. It's a chase out of bounds. It's going to be Lampkin ball. 52 seconds left till halftime. A little wild stretch there. 52 seconds left. Lampkin's 34. Ravens 12. Let's see if the Lampkins are going to settle down and work a good shot here. I don't think they'll go for last shot yet. The lob goes into Caden over to Jace. They are going to go for one shot. Unless something drastic happens, but I believe they're going to hold. 
40 seconds. Cunningham trying to find an open corner, nothing there. Gets over to Jace. 30 seconds left. The trap. It's almost stolen. It is stolen. Two on one break. Martinez up. Can't make the shot. Tip is good. 12 seconds left till halftime. Glenn can need to go. Nikki can fly. Get to the Andrew. Drive shot on the way. Two points in the corner. The long heave at is no good. And at halftime. Your four Collins Lankins, 36. Denver South Ravens, 22. We'll see if we can fix the graphics, so hold tight. We're back live. I didn't get the graphic to work at all. I tried everything I could over the break. Nothing. Nothing worked. So we're just going to go with it. Seven minutes left in the third quarter, and Luke Wagstaff just picked up his third foul. Should be back, should be back online, and everybody should be happy, hopefully. Except I can't get the darn score, so I'm not very happy, but that's the way it goes. Dump down into the post. Spin move on the way is going to be good. Two points. Chase forward. 36-27. Lampkins. Cunningham takes a drive. Stops to Jamar. Or to Jace. And Andrew for three is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to the Ravens. Here they come the other way. Long three-point attempt is going to be good. No, I think that does look, look good from this angle. Chase has the ball. Bring it up. May have walked, but he got away with it. Get to just Luke. He's going to spin this guy. Left. Luke likes have two points. I do believe that's his first two points of the game. Not sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. Sold by Cunningham. Showtime. The slam. Dunk Joe Cunningham. That'll bring the crowd into life. The breakaway. The hang time. The super slam. Joe Cunningham. Ty Daniels is going to take the three-point shot and miss. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. Quickly on that uh, Cottingham, who's fouled. No call. Now they call over and back. I can't believe that call. I don't think Coach Dick can believe it either. Got to get the camera angle on him. Timeout on the floor. Coach Dick is going to plead his case for the whole timeout. Tell him, Coach. He's going he's gonna to use his time out to yell at the ref. This is awesome. Keep going, Coach. Go get him. Go get him. Oh. 
Just when you think he's done, he stops. But then he goes at him again. There he goes again. It's like a manager in an umpire, or a manager in a big league game. So it's going to be Ravens ball. Yeah, we got a conversation at half court here. Meeting of the minds. So we may have some blood on the floor. Thorough clean job by the game officials. I think we're about ready for some ball. Denver South ball. We got a travel or a walk, a travel or a jump ball. What are they gonna call? Jump ball. It'd be Lampkin ball. Full court pressure by the Ravens. They haven't stopped. Corner bringing it up. Gets it to Wagstaff. Luke has to be careful with three fouls. Tomorrow on the wing. Gets it to Luke. He's not afraid to shoot it from there. The dribble drive. Cut off. Down to Jamar. Luke, three point shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go over the backboard. And I got to tighten up that. There, that should be a better angle. Ravens ball going the other way with 4.55 left in the quarter. 4.55 left in the third. It's going to be Lampkins 40. Denver South 27. The dunk attempt, no good. Tried for the showtime, nothing there. He got way up in the air, but he couldn't get it to come home. Corner the other way, gets it to Jamar. He's going to try to dunk. He misses. What's going on? Just lay the ball in, fellas. Trying to get fancy out there. Shot on the way. No good. Jamar with the rebound. Waxaf here. He comes. Gets to Cottingham. See if he tries to dunk it. No. Slows up. He gets fouled. In a wild stretch. Two missed dunks in a row. All ends in a foul. Number 10, Tyler Huntsacker with his Huntsinger with his first foul. Lampkin's ball underneath, trying to get Luke for the lob, does, tries to put a move on him, spins, pumps, loses his footing, he's, oh, they called a foul. Much is granted my Denver South partner next to me, looked like a travel, but they called a foul. It's going to be on number 23, Kai Daniels, his second foul, team second of the half. 4.16 left until the end of the third quarter, it's going to be Lampkin's 40, Denver South 27. Wax up on the line for two shots. First shot on the way is good. 41-27. Sorry, I can't get that graphic to work. I'll have to figure that out over the next couple of days. I'm not sure what's going on. Second shot on the way is good. And Luke's going to take a look, take a rest with his three fouls. And for him, is going to be Caden Elmore. Could be smart with those three fouls. Looking for the back door, it's not there. Working the ball around. Lampkin's still doing a good job of switching and making sure they don't get the cuts wide open. The dribble drive. The shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Jace King. He gets past this guy. Gets it to Jamar. Does a spin move. Loses it, gets it to Chase. Off of Jace's knee. Out of bounds. Ravens ball. Lampkins need to slow down and get under control. They're trying to play too fast with the lead of 15. 
42-37 with 3.45 left in the third quarter. They don't need to be in a big hurry to rush and do anything. They should just set up their offense and run. Run the offense through a couple times and run some clock. Don't let the, the other team speed you up because that's their game. They like to play fast, and we don't need to play fast at this point. There's your YouTube coaching for the night. Daniels with the 15-foot shot is going to be good. 42-29, Lampkins. Cunningham takes the ball. Tries to clear out. Does. Got to step on his man. He's over to Jamar. Lampkins is going to set up offense like they should. Settle down. And, oh, Jamar's going to go for it. Hangs. Shot. Basket. Ball. Shows how much I know. I guess if the opportunity presents itself, you're going to take the shot. And Jamar took it right to the man. It's going to be on number 55, Chase Ford, their big guy. It's going to be his third foul. 3-8 left in the third quarter. Lampkins 44. Ravens 29. Jamar Mitchell is in the line for one shot. Free throw attempt on the way in. Rattles home. Here comes the Ravens. Long pass to the corner. Pump fake. Cade's going to meet him. Better be careful. Picks up his third foul. So third foul for Caden Elmore. Third team foul of the half for the Lampkins with 2.59 left in the quarter. Let's see what the Lampkins do here. Don't really want Caden to foul out. Let's see if they bring somebody off the bench. Back pick, switch, four, oh, he got it in. Almost a five-second call. Martinez tries to drive on corner, hangs, shot up on the way. We got a foul on the ground. It's going to be on number five, Andrew Corner. It's going to be his second foul, team fourth. Ravens ball underneath. Inbounded. Almost thrown by Caden. Handoff. Not there. Three point shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound is going to go to Denver South. Shot on the way is good. In and the foul. That's, this is big if it's on Caden. Good way to check in. That was on Cottingham. His second foul. So Wag steps in for Elmore. 2.45 left until the end of the quarter. 45-31 Lampkins. They were going to get situated here. Lampkins have their starters in. King, Cottingham, corner. Wag steps in Mitchell. Three-point shot attempt on the way is going to be good. Or it completes the three-point play, I should say. Not three-point shot. Pass up to Cunningham. He catches it. Gets a tip. It's going to be turnover. Back the other way come the Ravens. Lampkins are in too big of a hurry, in my opinion. Pulled up from it. 17 feet. It's going to be no good. Rebound is going to go to Wagstaff. Just slow the ball down, but they don't. Here comes Jace. Here comes Jace. Gets it taken away from him. It's a two-on-one break. Jamal sizes him up. Cunningham back with the tough defense. And out of bounds. It's going to go stay right here with the Ravens. Not sure why the Lampkins are in such a big hurry. I'll harp on it until the end of time because there's no reason for it. Quickly in the game is number one, Nicky McGuire, checking in for Luke Wagstaff. So they can put Nicky on the post guy. Who's actually a guard, so he's alright. Down into the post, out to three point land. Three point shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Andrew Corner. He's trapped. Gets it to Cottingham. Gets it to Nicky. Over to Cottingham. The drive, the hang, the shot, the foul. Took a hard foul, but he'll go to the line for two shots. We'll check the foul. It's on number five. 
Quinn Kelsey, his second foul, team, fail, team fourth foul of the half. 157 till the end of the third. 157. Counting against first free throw attempt is going to be no oh, good. It goes. The shooter's touch. Forty-six thirty-two Lampkins. Cunningham second attempt is good as well. Forty-seven thirty-two Lampkins with the fifteen point lead with one fifty seven left until the end of the third. Martinez looking for a screen. Takes Nikki on the left, gets fouled. Nikki's first foul. It's going to be Lampkin's sixth team foul. The next one's going to be one and one. Two shots. First read attempt by Rhodes Martinez is going to be no good. Wexaf checks in the ball game for McGuire. 149 until the end of the third. 149. Second free throw shot. On the way in. Good. 47-33 Lampkins. Here comes King. Denver East trying to trap. Put a lot of pressure on the ball. Foul. Keep calling Denver East and I'm sorry. Denver South. It's going to be Lampkin ball. It's a 15 foul. Two more until the one and one. They're going to discuss it. Side out of bounds. This is the Wagstaff. He's going to be double teamed, but he quickly back to King. He walked. Hit the shot, but he walked. Turnover. Here comes Nicky. He's going to come in for Luke. Put Nicky on defense against number one, Rhodes Martinez. So Luke doesn't have a chance to pick up that fourth foul before the end of the quarter. That was going to fall back into a half court man to man. Tomorrow with the steal. Foul. Foul number one. Dominic Rhodes Martinez. His second foul. Team six foul. So the next one. Next foul by either team puts the other team into the one and one bonus. Waxap checks back in the game for McGuire. Waxap the king. Gordon Mitchell layup. Miss. Here comes the Ravens the other way. Hesitation dribble, the shot, the foul. I think it's going to be on Andrew Corner. It should be his third foul. And Nick is quickly up off the bench. Let's see if he comes in for Andrew or Luke. It's going to be Andrew's third foul. So it's going to be Hunsinger to the line for two shots. One fifteen until the end of the quarter. First shot is good. Nikki checks in for Jamar, so I thought he's coming in for Luke or Andrew, and he gets in for neither. Shows how much I know. It was worth a shot. Anyway, 115 till the end of the quarter. Lampkins at 47 34. Free throw is missed. Luke Rebound goes to Wagstaff. Over the corner. Wagstaff has the ball, gets it back to the corner. The give and go. Joe settles it, gets it to Wagstaff. The hang, the shot, two points, Luke Wexel. Under a minute left in the quarter. One minute left in the quarter. To, dri to dribble drive. Jace ties him up. It's going to be a jump ball. It'll stay right here with the Ravens. Good defense. Kate Nomore is going to check into the ball game for Luke Wexel. He can sit the last 46 seconds of this quarter so he doesn't pick up that fourth foul, of course. Give him a little bit of a breather as well. Lampkins got their short, quick lineup in. Looking for the inbound. Nothing. Got it. It's going to be a handoff. Starting to trap. Not there. Gets it to the corner. Three-point shot is on the way. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Nikki. K-9 
Kick the ball. Right to Andrew. Coach Dix called for one shot. Lampkins had a layup, but they stood to go to one shot. 24 seconds still have, or to the end of the third quarter. Fifteen seconds. Gets it to King. That's who they want to have the ball in this. Ten seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. In a wild inning. They're gonna call. They're gonna call Nicky for a foul. You know he hit his own guy. Coach Dick is going to lose his mind. And it should be a one and one. Coach Dick is beside himself. So it's Nikki's second foul. 18 foul. It's going to be one and one for somebody for Denver East. Or Denver South, I mean. Number four. Nathaniel Urban is going to go to the line. For a one and one. Terrible call. And he misses anyway, so it works out for the Lampkins. That should be the end of the quarter. So at the end of three, it's going to be four Collins, 49. Denver South, 34. So a curious call at the end of the quarter there. Nicky went in for the rebound and they called him for over the back on the Denver South player when it really ran it into Cottingham. But picked up a foul, but no harm. They missed the fur in front end of that one one So the lineup for the Lampkins starting the fourth quarter will be their ball. It's going to be Nicky McGuire, Jace King, Andrew Corner, Luke Wagstaff. And I'm missing one. Joe Cottingham, I believe. He's taking the ball up with the Sea of Humanity. I can't see him. Yeah, it was Cottingham. King brings the ball up. Trapped in the corner. Up down the King. He's going to be fouled. He's going to go to the line for one and one. So Jason King's who you won on the line. He shoots 91% from the free throw line. Foul went on number 21, Jonathan Treese. His second foul. Team 7th. Puts the Lampkins in the bonus. Like I said, you want King on the line in this situation. You can't. He's, I don't want to jinx the kid, so I don't. It's not like what I say is going to matter anyway. You can't hear me. Jamar Mitchell checking again into the game for Wagstaff. King's first free throw attempt was good. Second one is lined up on the way in. Good as well. The Ravens are quickly the other way. Working the ball around. Almost on the way. Almost stolen. The drive, the shot, the foul. Calling touch fouls now. So that's Nikki's third foul. So to the line for one shot is going to be number 21, Jonathan Treese. Seven thirty-seven left till the end of the game. Free throw is good. Scores Lankins 51, Ravens 37 with 7.37 till the end of the game. Okay, we're reset. Ball's getting inbounded. Gets it to King. He turns it over. He walked, but he got away with it. Cottingham with the steal. Lankins just need to settle down. Run some offense. Give and go. Over to Andrew. Takes the two-point shot. Two points in the corner. 
Ravens go the other way in a hurry. The crossover. The reverse layup goes. Dominic Rose Martinez with a nice shot. Inbound to Wagstaff. Over to King. King is a drive. Goes behind his back. Up to Mar- Jamar. Two points to Jamar Mitchell. 55-39 with seven minutes left in the game. 55-39 in Lampkins. He walked. Now they're going to call a late foul. Not sure where that came from. They waited until he hit the ground before they called the foul. Foul in your corner. His fourth foul. Team's tenth foul, so it's a double bonus for Denver South the rest of the way. So Rose Martinez did line for two shots. First shot on the way is no good. 6.46 left in the quarter. 55-39 Lampkins. Martinez's second shot is on the way and good. Lampkins up 15. Gets to the wag staff. Gets to the corner. They just need to settle down and run some offense. Slow your roll, boys. And a foul way out front. 50, 40 feet away from the ball, or from the basket. It's going to be on 21 crease. Trees, I mean. Andrew's going to go to the line for a 101. So Andrew corner to the line. He has, by my tally, six points right now. Looking to add to that. One and one. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. Short. May have pulled the string there. Martinez with the shot. No good rebounds. It's going to go to Denver South. It's going to be off of Wagstaff, but it should be Ravens ball. It's not. It's going to be Fort Collins ball. They're a little closer than I am, but sure looked like it went off with Luke, but we'll take it. So some full court pressure. Gets it to Cunningham. They should just clear out. Let him do his thing. The trap. Wagstaff gets it over the corner. King with the drive. The shot hangs from 10 feet. Nothing but net. Chase King with two. 57-40. Lampkins. Here comes Hunsinger. Misses. Rebounds. Tipped up and in. I don't know who made that. I couldn't tell. There are two guys there for the Ravens. Six minutes left. 57-42. Lampkins. Andrew got fouled. Didn't get called. Over to Wagstaff. Trying to dump it. Hands off to Andrew. Thought about the three. Couldn't get his footing. Couldn't get his steps right. King with the drive. The foul. That one's going to go on number four, I believe. So Nathaniel Urban picks up his first foul. Team ninth foul. Jace is Jace King to the line for a one and one. 5.42 left in the game. 5.42. First free throw attempt is good. Nothing but that. Four, 58.42 the score. Check that. 59.42. Denver South working the ball around, looking for some pick and roll action. Big man head up top there, working the ball, working the three point shot on the way off the side of the backboard and in for three. Gets it to Wagstaff. He's going to try to get it across the timeline. He does. Hands off to Cunningham. Just run some clock, bro. King forces a shot. Short. Gets his own rebound, though. It's the black staff. Improves his lie. Two points to the black staff and we have a timeout on the floor. Lampkins call timeout. Full timeout, Lampkins. So with 503 left in the contest, Lampkins 61, Ravens 45.
So I'm a little off on my stats. So somebody got a three pointer that I missed. Chase King unofficially has 20. Jamar Mitchell has 17. Luke has 8. Cunningham has 7. Corner has 6. Unofficial results. I'm down. Missing 3 points by somebody. So, unofficially, that's a ballpark figure where we stand with the stats with 5 minutes left in the ball game. Stolen by King. Corner just needs to set up shop. Don't need to be in a hurry. And he gets fouled. So that's the 10th team foul by the Ravens. It's going to send corner to the line for two shots. Lampkins will be in a double bonus for the rest of the way. 4.48 left in the game. 4.48, Lampkins 61.45. First free throw attempt is good. Second free throw attempt on the way in. Good as well. Eight points for Andrew. Unofficially, of course. Let's take her dribble it off. Take it by corner. The three on one going the other way. The lob to Wagstaff. Nothing. They should just set it up. They do. Smart play. Set up and run some offenses. 4.30 left in the game. 4.30 left in the game. Wagstaff looking for a drive. Takes it in. He gets fouled. It's on the floor. Let's still go to the line for two shots because it's there in the double bonus. Fouls on, I think it's 23. 23, Kai Daniels picks up his fourth foul. Wax left in line for two. His first free throw attempt is good. Second free throw attempt is good as well. 65-45, Lampkins go at 20 points with 4.23 left in the game. Denver South looking for the three-point shot. No good rebound. Controlled by the Ravens. Cross-court pass to Martinez. Loses his footing. Martinez, you know, Case grabs his arm. Hunsinger is going to go to the line for two shots. Should be Jace's first, I think. Yeah, Chase King with his first team foul, or first uh, personal foul. Teams, well, they're in the double bonus. Both teams in the double bonus from here on out. 4:03 left in the game. First free throw attempt this is no good. Second free throw attempt on the way. In. It falls. Sub in again for the Lampkins, number three, Alex Guzman. The ticket for Jamar Mitchell. Not sure if we'll see Jamar again or if he's just up in and out for a minute. But with the Lampkins up by 19 with four minutes left, there's not a huge hurry to get him back in the ballgame. Especially if King's going to take the layup. Block. Rebound's going to go to Denver South. The breakaway. The shot. It trickles in. Corner brings the ball up. Slips, falls, keeps his footing. Keeps his dribble somehow. Curly Neal out there. Timeout to Bruce Dick and the Lampkins. Get some Globe Charter music going. Curly Neal out there. With Andrew has too much hair for that, but. You had to go back in the day a little bit to get that reference. So the Lampkins up 65-48 with 335, 339 left in the ball game. Coach just wants to sell the troops and get them under control a little bit. 
Time to run some clock. Like some certain sportscaster has been saying all night here. For all second half. Line up for the Lampkins is going to be King, Guzman, Corner, Cunningham, and Wagstaff. It's going to be Fort Collins ball at half court. Gets it into Luke real quick. Makes a move. Good spin move. Pump fake up and no good. Rebound goes to the Ravens. They're going the other way quickly. Dribble drive. The shot no good. Rebounds are going to go to the Ravens. The shot on the way. The floater won't go. The tip is good. Inbound to Wagstaff. He's going to take his man one on one. Oh, and they called Alex for dragging his foot. That's an interesting call. Check in the game. It's Jamar Mitchell. He'll come in for Alex Guzman. 310 left. Lampkin 65. Ravens 50. Here comes Denver South. Looking for a pick, gets one, drives, cuts to the corner. Shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound is going to go to Wagstaff. Long baseball pass is stolen by the Ravens. Doesn't need to do that. Daniels in the shot, misses. Wagstaff does another baseball pass. King wide open for the layup. Two points, Jace King. Lucas is going to throw that baseball pass no matter what. Trying to be Randy Johnson out there with the 95 mile an hour. Ball. Hunsinger with the three point shot is good. 67 40 or 53. 230 left in the game. Lamp is up 14. Trap is good to Andrew. He's going to be fouled if he lets him. King working around the way. I thought about a three. Tries to love it to Mitchell. I don't know what they're doing. It's not a smart team right now. Layup, two points, Denver South. They don't need to be in a hurry. They're going to get fouled. They're playing sloppy basketball right now. This isn't the Showtime Lakers. you got to use your head a little bit. Still firmly in control of the game with 2 of 4 left in the game. It's Lampkins 67. The Ravens 55. Lampkins up 12 and in firm control, but lazy passes, sloppy offense is not going to get it done. Denver South has sped up the Lampkins all night, and it's worked for the Lampkins, and it's hurt the Lampkins as well. Full-time off for the Lampkins. Looks said 204 left in the contest. Guzman checks in the game for the Lampkins. He's in for... Wagstaff, I believe. No? Corner. He's in for Andrew. Inbound pass to Cunningham. Over to Guzman. It's trapped. Stolen. Bad pass for the corral. Three point shot attempt on the way for Denver South is no good. Rebound's going to go to Daniels. He throws it too hard off of man. And it will be Lampkin Ball. 148 left in the game. Cunningham trying to get it in, gets it to King. He's trapped. Those are Cunningham. It's stolen again. Lampkins cannot handle the pressure at all. Behind the back dribble. The spin, the whirling dervish. It does not fall. King with the board. Trapped. Gets it to Wagstaff. Stolen again. Stolen back. And a foul. Looks like Jace King's going to go to the line for two shots. One twenty-eight left in the game. Lampkins decided at, the ba- at a bad time to not start breaking the press. They did a good job against it all night and looked for the last 
half a minute or two. Half a minute or full minute. That's what I meant to say. It sounded good in my head. The delivery was not there. First throw attempt on the way by King is good. 23 points for Jace King unofficially. Lee Nall scores. Second free throw attempt on the way is good as well. 69-55 Lampkins. The dribble drive. Jamar fouls him. Not sure why. Tried to finger roll it. Jamar fouled him. It's going to be his third foul with 121 left in the quarter. Free throw attempt is good. Looks like it's Matthew Rhodes Martinez on the line. Number 33. Just a freshman. It's a both. Lincoln's inbound the ball to King. Back to Guzman. Over to King. Back to Guzman. Try to get it across the timeline and does. Gets over to Jamar. Blackstaff, down to Cottingham, he spins, back to Blackstaff, slam, bam, jam, Luke Blackstaff. Three-pointer shot by Rhodes, Martinez is good. So at 57 seconds left, it's the Lampkins 60, or 71, Ravens 60. So the second half kind of grinded to a halt a little bit with a lot of fouls and timeouts. There's hardly any of either in the first half. Each team has more than 10 fouls apiece in the second half. So at least 20, probably 25 fouls in the second half at least. Turnovers, fouls. Kind of made the game a little bit longer, but the Lampkins are still in control. Curb control of this ball game. Up 11 with 57 seconds left in the contest. Corner gets it in. Gets it back to the corner. Backs it up. Looking for someone to pass through. Cross court pass. Cottingham. He's going to wait to be fouled. They don't foul him. Gets it to Andrew. Over to Wagstaff. Tomorrow in the corner. Then they'll keep away. They're going to try to follow him if they want. 37 seconds left. Nope, they're not going to follow. Then he's content to hold it. Stolen by the Ravens. Ooh, the kid took a hard fall. Martinez, Rhodes, Martinez with the long three point shot. No good. Duran's going to be out of bounds and we let the ball. Hope that kid's already he seems to be okay. Took a hard shot. 16 seconds left in the game. Lampkins are going to win this game. Balls inbound to Wagstaff. Back to King. Over to Cunningham. Over to Mitchell. They're just going to dribble it out. So there you have it, folks. There's the final buzzer. Your final from the lab check. Four Collins Lampkins, 71. Denver South Ravens, 60. Well played game by the Lampkins. Got a little sloppy, but they're going to get their first playoff win. Survive in advance is all you have to do at this time of year. I'll the total stats here in just a second. From what I know of the stats, anyway.
unofficially. Let me see what no, how much I come up with. I'm off a point, but I'm pretty close. So unofficially, Lincolns were led tonight by Jason King with 24 points, followed by Luke or followed by Jamar Mitchell who had 17. Luke Wack except Tifton with 14 points. Andrew Corner had eight. Joe Cunningham had seven points. So, Lamb gets hold serve. They will take on Legacy in the next round, which I believe may be as soon as Saturday, but I'm not 100% sure. Check Twitter, check Instagram, or email me directly at lambkinsportsnetwork at gmail.com, or you can check maxpreps.com for the next scheduled game. We will be live tomorrow night while the, when the, where the Unified Lambkins take on the Unified Timnath Wellington crew right here at the Lamb Shack. So if you want to tune in to some great basketball, the Unified game will be tomorrow at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. And we'll find out when the next game is. Actually, I can probably look it up real quick, but don't have time. Once again, check Twitter, Lampkin Sports Network on Twitter, Lampkin Sports Network on Instagram. Email me directly or check maxpreps.com. That's your source of information. So from the Lamb Shack, Lampkin's first round victory, 71-60 over the Denver South Ravens. You've been watching the Lampkin Sports Network in association with Nighthawk Burgundy Productions. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Over and out.